I'm in Mali and a few days ago I visited the village of Dabubu, where Ali Diallo and his mother Kadia live. Ali is 29 days old and he's in really good health. Why? Because he received the good care of Koro. Koro is responsible for the health of her community. The day I was there, Ali and Kadia received a visit from Koro. In fact, in her community, whenever there's a baby that's born, the baby's still warm and Koro knows it. And that allows her to do five visits within the first month of the baby's life. During those visits, she has the opportunity to check in on the new mom's health, to give some tips like, for example, exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of the baby's life. But most importantly, it allows her to detect the early signs of illnesses that used to threaten the lives of babies in her community. In Mali, the most common causes of newborn deaths are, for example, malaria, diarrhea, which can rapidly lead to dehydration when you're really, really small, pneumonia, or malnutrition. Those visits save lives. Because in the region where the Dabubu village is, in 2001, there were about 400 deaths of newborns every single year. Today, there are four times less. Because Ali and Kadia are but one example. There are 441 Koros who at the heart of their communities in Mali save lives every single day. And all of that's made possible thanks to a project that's led by the Malian Red Cross with support from the Canadian Red Cross and the Government of Canada. Thanks for helping us save lives.